in Salina, Utah. Sadly, I didn't get to. Didn't think to pull the camera out before now. Could have seen some awesome scenery on the state highways I was on, but we're getting ready to jump on I-70 West. We've got 109 miles of nothing. It sounds like. At least it's what all the signs and stuff are telling me. Yeah, well, I'm in a rental truck too. It is June 4th, Tuesday. Uh, 17.33 Mountain Time. I got three hours on the clock to roll. So we're going to roll at least 109 miles. Because uh, it's that or nothing. <laughs> According to all the signs. So we're just going to rock and roll because there's no services no nothing I guess eastbound which is weird love how there's services westbound but nothing eastbound so either it's just that dead up in the mountain or it's just that dead up in the mountains but hopefully I got you guys set up into a decent feeling anyway here oh. I wish I was in my truck, but on top of that, I wish I was in a manual. I hate automatic. If you're someone that understands how to drive a big rig, automatics suck. I was talking to a farmer about it. Oh, there is ice in there. No, two weeks ago when I was in my other truck and I was loading on a farm. And, uh, he was asking me how the automatic worked. I was like, you know... For what we do on the farm, it sucks. But we're in silty, loamy shit, and stucky mud, and ugh. He's central Illinois, so they're a little drier. And I was like, there's a lot of farms in Iowa when I go out there for harvest that are buying automatics because then any of their helpers can drive. If they're old or they're disabled or don't know how to drive manual, anyone can drive it. You just gotta learn how to manipulate that big of a truck around corners and stuff, so they'll ride with them. But they're like, we figured it was easier because we don't. They didn't have to pay so much for like transmissions and clutches and gears and shifters. That's a weird house and all that for helpers that don't drive truck professionally, and let alone they don't drive it professionally either. They drive it for harvest and maybe planting. So. Like for the couple months of the year we use it, buying automatic just seems better. Like I'm not against it, it's just kind of like, eh. Not really my cup of tea. I like manual. I like I like having to stick to jam our own. So we're just going to ham the shit out of I-70 for two days now. Going from Mori Moroni. Utah to Purdy in Missouri. That's interesting sandstone out here. Just imagine at one time this is all underwater. You can just tell by how it's eroded. If it's straight up and down it took forever to erode. The water was here for a while, and then where it slants down really fast, and the water wasn't here for all that long. This truck ain't gonna like going up this hill. Ah, fuck it. We're gonna get there one way or another. Yeah, that's a weird place to park your RV. 